All right, folks, 24th of February. Happy Saturday morning to you. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, about 10.30 a.m. It was 8 degrees this morning. You know, 5 o'clock, 5.30 chores. It's about 20 now. Um, <laughs> if this is weird to you, trust me, it feels, uh, it feels weird as well. I'm broadcasting fertilizer on my alfalfa ground this morning. I already hit my one primary field by the farm. <coughs> um, and of course I got this guy left to go. This is pure potash. Most of you have followed this channel now and then understand that I've been adding in sulfur not AMS sulfur uh, to my uh, fertilizer broadcastings of alfalfa the last few years. I failed in doing the proper research of what sulfur is going to do with this time of year and the weather that we're going to get yet. As far as, I'm going to use the word dissipating, like of course urea nitrogen would do right now. <coughs> um, potash isn't a problem. Being I didn't get the proper answer myself, um, I left the sulfur out. <coughs> I got roughly 40 acres to cover here this morning. I'm damn near done. Three more passes and I will be done. I should have enough left to go hit a small uh, five acre field, which is predominant alfalfa. Yeah, this is, this is just nuts. I'm doing the best absolute job that I can. It's a little hard to see your tracks this time of the year or with these ground conditions. You can tell this set of tracks here. You better have your human GPS in order. Uh, if anything, I can promise you that I'm overlapping instead of missing places. Uh, I'd rather that than the other scenario. But uh, all signs pointed towards doing this. This is nuts. It's freaking cold. Yeah, it's warmed up since this morning, but she's she's a little chilly. Um, I've said a hundred times on this channel, this is not a channel of education, farming education. Uh, is anybody out there follow half my lead? Um, <coughs> I will tell you this is this can do nothing but help. Number one. This will alleviate a little bit of extra work in the spring when I'm running and gunning, which is worth a lot. Um, two, uh, this potash will not go anywhere. It will stay in the ground, on the ground, soon to be in the ground. We have some 50, 52, 53 degree days coming. We have some rain coming where that ground is going to break loose and... Uh, Basically, the potash will be here when the plant calls for it, okay? And, uh, you know, this reminds me of about, I think it was three years ago, I took on what I called fall potash, which can be quite normal, especially up here. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, it worked out beautifully. Of course, I didn't have to touch my ground with fertilizer broadcasting that spring, uh, which can get tricky. Ground conditions can get real tricky in the spring here. It's not right now. Um, and it worked out fine. Basically, we're doing the same damn thing. It's just instead of October, early November, here we are at the end of February. Uh, so that's, that's what I am doing. Um, 
I don't really know what to say here, folks, about these ground conditions and what we're looking at here. You know, we're in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, for God's sakes. I'm not going to start crying about it because I can't control it. Uh, this is scary. Uh, we went through a drought this summer. We went into fall with a drought. We're in a drought now within the winter. Snow accumulation was very, very little. Uh, future forecast is not showing much. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, I'm doing my job. I'm getting this down now so that it's here on the ground. And uh, who knows? Maybe we'll have a bunker buster every year. <laughs> I hope so. Let's go for a little ride. put down at 200 pounds to the acre, which is quite normal for me. As you see here, we're coming up to the field line. In the last seven years or so, I normally would have potashed this field as well, but as I spoke on the last video that I have not posted yet, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Yeah, I like this better. I've already got around by the tree line, the field line. When I do fertilizer, and we all kind of do it a little differently, I always take a uh, counterclockwise loop around the field then get everything in the middle, back and forth. I'm looking really forward to that, uh, well, it's about a 22, 23 acre field. It was my large alfalfa producer. Uh, there's a lot of grass in there now. And that is gonna be my, I'm gonna call it my big go-to for dry hay tonnage starting this year. Looking real forward to it. Obviously, I won't be hitting it with any of this potash. I will instead wait until it's acceptable to put a nitrogen based fertilizer down. I may have said something about uh, triple 19. The truth of the matter is, I'm probably going to up the ante on urea. I forget the correct numbers, but it's probably going to be a, a, a 24 urea. I got to keep this open, folks. I want to damn well hear that fertilizer coming off the spinners. See, so yeah, I don't follow my lead. This is a proven fact, though. Trust me, I'm not. Uh, I'm not in the habit of throwing about $3,000 in the trash can. That's what this morning is. Never ends. The truth is, I had this buggy by about 2 o'clock, 2.15 yesterday afternoon. But by the time my sorry butt got home to the farm, um, with yesterday's temperatures and the pure sun that we had, the ground really loosened up. The last thing I want to do is put tracks in here. Ruts isn't an option, you know, that, that's not, but tracks, I, I don't even want to do that. So this is working out good.
that's about it. After this, I got a somewhat slower Saturday, if you want to call it. But of course, I'm going to fill that with odd jobs here and there. Probably run a load of feed to the farm as well. Stockpiles get just a little bit low. And we have some uh, warmer temperatures coming or I'll do some damage out here. So yeah. Pretty happy about working this uh, 6150M. Of course, it's been sitting dormant now for almost three months. Well, definitely three months. I took it out of the garage yesterday, mid morning, of course, checked the fluid levels, everything. Uh, blew out the uh, primary filter. And, uh, Yeah, kind of happy to blow the old carbon out of it, as they say. Feels good. Yeah, this ends up perfect here. That's it. Happy Saturday. I hope everybody's doing okay. And uh, we're going to talk to you much sooner than later.